Hey everybody, here's a quick video on how to change email notification settings in Google Classroom to help you stay organized and help keep your inbox streamlined. So to get to these settings, click on the hamburger menu in the top left corner and scroll down until you see the settings gear and click settings. So here you have a bunch of options to help you stay notified about your Google Classrooms. If you don't want to receive any email notifications at all about anything in your Google Classrooms, you can just turn this off and voila, you are done. If you want to get email notifications about Classroom, of course, you need to turn this on. For comments, if you would like to receive emails when anyone comments on your posts or any comments that mention you, you can turn those on. Generally, I'd like to have those turned off. But if you use your Google Classroom for discussion board, you can definitely turn these on to keep up with what's going on. Be aware, though, your email inbox might be a little cluttered, especially if you have a large class. One thing we definitely do recommend having on is private comments on work. So if a student leaves a private comment, you will get an email about it and can help support them. Also, it won't really flood your inbox. For classes you're enrolled in as a quote unquote student in Google Classroom, you can adjust notifications there as well. I like to have them off. For classes that you teach, that you are the quote unquote teacher in Google Classroom, you can turn on late submissions of student work, which is very helpful. So you know when students turn in work that's late. Resubmissions of student work is super helpful. You'll get an email notification when students submit work that you've returned to them. That's very helpful. Invitations to co-teach classes, we like to leave those on. And importantly, when a schedule post published or failed, you do, you'll definitely want to have that one on. That means when you schedule a post for a future date, you will get an email in the post successfully published or if it fails, which is super important because you don't want to be caught with a post that failed to post and you don't know about it. Furthermore, you can even drill down and turn on notifications for certain classes. So for example, I have notifications turned on for this 5A English language arts class I'm the teacher of. And but so I'm there the you go. Of this now class you're class, well on your and way I really to keeping your Google Classroom get email organized and your from email inbox from class. getting so I'm going to turn it off. So there you go. Now you're well on your way to streamlining your Google Classroom and keeping your email inbox free of clutter.